In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create this easy logo stinger animation inside Adobe After Effects. I also did want to mention that I did make this as a template for my Patreon members. So if you are a member of my Patreon, you can go and download this template for Adobe After Effects, along with several assets I use on a daily basis as a video editor. Feel free to go grab that. If you're not a patron, consider subscribing and supporting the channel. I truly appreciate your support. But now let's take a look at how to animate this from scratch. So to get started inside Adobe After Effects, I'm going to first create a new composition by going up to composition, new composition. I'm going to name this logo stinger. And then from the preset, I'm going to choose 4K at around 30 frames a second, but you can choose whichever resolution and frame rate you wish. And then under duration, since this is a short little stinger animation, I'm going to make it two seconds long. Then I'm going to click OK. And what we're first going to do is create our shape. So we're going to go and navigate to our rectangle tool. We're going to click on it. And then next to the fill option, just make sure that it's on. Click on fill and make sure that it's a solid color Then click OK. You can first choose your color. I'm going to start with black, but you can choose any color you wish. But for this tutorial, I'm going to use shades of gray and black. Then I'm going to click OK. Make sure that stroke is off. If you don't see this hash mark, click on the text that says stroke and then choose this hash option for none and click OK. Next, click and drag out a rectangle. Doesn't have to be exact. We're going to make changes here. Once you release, you can navigate back to your selection tool at the top left and then navigate to your align panel. If you don't see this align panel, you can always go up to window align. Once you see the align panel, we're going to align this horizontally and vertically to the composition here. And then next we're gonna add a skew. So to add a skew, we can twirl down under rectangle one and then under the transform options, we're gonna twirl down under transform rectangle one and you should see a skew option. I'm gonna change the skew to 10, but you can change it depending on the incline that you wish. I'm gonna choose 10 for now. And once we have that, the next thing we're gonna do is animate it. So we're gonna twirl down under rectangle path and we're gonna animate the size of it. So next to size, what we have to first do is unlink the X and Y. And to do that, we can click on this little link button and this will break the link between X and Y, allowing us to animate them separately. So what we're first going to do is change this value down to zero. Then we're going to make a keyframe by clicking on the stopwatch button here. Then we're going to click and drag out our playhead to the one second mark. Then we're going to change the X value so that it covers the entire composition. So I'm going to change it up to there. So when we click and play this back, we should have this type of animation. Now next what we can do is add some easing to these keyframes to smooth out and really fine tune the animation. What I'm first going to do is click on my first keyframe here, right click on it and go to keyframe assistant, easy ease out. And then for the last keyframe, I'm going to right click on it, go to keyframe assistant, easy ease in, and this will ease into that keyframe and ease out of this keyframe. Next, we can really fine tune this animation by going into the graph editor. So I'm gonna click on this button here, click on the parameter inside the timeline window, and then click on one of these keyframes. You should see this yellow handlebar. I'm gonna click while holding down shift on my keyboard out so it kind of eases way out of this animation. And when we click and play this back, you'll notice that it eases out and kind of snaps into place at the one second mark. So this is my preferred animation, but you can tweak this to your liking. And if you wanna learn more about how the graph editor works, I did make a tutorial going over this, so I will leave that linked in the top right of this video for you to check out. All right, so for now, we're going to exit the graph editor by clicking on the graph editor button. And now that we have one animation, we can start to duplicate this and create several different layers of it. So I'm going to click on the layer and hit command D to duplicate it. And then I'm going to click and drag this out five frames in the future. So you should see this layer start right away. And then this layer comes in later. And what we're going to do is change the color of this so you actually see the difference here. So I'm going to click on this layer, click up next to fill and change the color of it. I'm going to change it to a lighter shade of gray and click OK. And when we click and play this back, you can see what we have. We can start to build this out. We can maybe duplicate this one more time. I'm going to hit command D and then slide this out to around 10 frames or so. Then once again, I'm going to change the color. So I'm going to change it to an even lighter shade of gray. Click OK. And now when we click and play this back, you can see that we have this animation. All right, so now that we have these, the next step is to add in our logo. So I'm gonna go to File, Import, File. I'm gonna go and navigate to my logo and click Open. Then I'm gonna click and drag this to my timeline. And then I'm gonna click and drag my playhead to depending where I want it to start animating on, maybe around the 25 frame mark. Then I'm gonna click S on my keyboard 
to bring up the scale property. And then I'm gonna keyframe it by clicking on the stopwatch and changing the value down to zero. Then I'm gonna go forward maybe around 15 frames and then change this back up to around 50% for my logo. But your logo will probably be a different size, so just adjust it accordingly. And same thing, we can add some easy ease to these keyframes. So the first one, I'm gonna right click and go to easy ease out and then easy ease in for the other one. We can fine tune it going back to the graph editor, clicking on the parameter and just sliding this out. So we have something that looks like this. And now we have to animate it off. The big thing with Stinger animations is that nothing is there at the beginning. Then it covers the screen fully at this point, And then you want to start animating it off, revealing and using this as a transition to transition from maybe one video to another video or in between different scenes. So to do the animation off, what we're gonna do is duplicate one of these shape layers, but use it as a mask. So I'm gonna exit the graph editor by clicking on this button. We're gonna click on one of these layers. I'm gonna click Command D to duplicate it. And then we're gonna click and drag this above all of our other layers. Now I'm gonna click on it and click return to rename it. So I'm gonna rename this mat. That way we know this is the mat layer. And what we're gonna do is click and drag this to the right to where we want to start animating it off. So for this animation, probably around the one second and five frame mark, maybe actually around the one second and 10 frame mark, that way our logo completely stops and then it starts animating off. But the key here is what we're gonna do is select all four of these layers here. So select your logo, hold down shift and select shape layer one here. And then using the track mat tools, if you don't see this column here, just click on toggle switches and modes at the very bottom here until you see track mat. Then using the pick whip tool, what we're gonna do is click and drag this to our mat here and then release. And what this does is it basically tells After Effects to put all these layers inside this layer's alpha mat or opacity in other words. But what we have to do is invert it. So to invert the mat, we're gonna click on this button here right next to the alpha mat button. We're gonna click on the invert button and this inverts the mat. So basically it's removing these layers when this layer starts animating on. So when we click and play this back, you can see that it actually starts animating off. And this animation is just a little bit short. So what I'm gonna do is extend my composition by going up to composition, composition settings, and changing it to maybe four seconds instead. Click okay. Then I'm gonna zoom out and we can just extend these layers a little bit here by just clicking and dragging on the edges of them. And now we can complete our animation here. When we click play, you should see that animates off. But that's how you can create this pretty cool logo stinger animation inside Adobe After Effects. So that's how you can create that pretty cool animation inside Adobe After Effects. Now, if you wanna learn more about After Effects, there's several tutorials on my channel. I will leave one that you might like right up there. Feel free to go check that out. But that does it for this video. We'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.